blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 27. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of bones, of the dead and everything unclean. Jesus was always found in the company of the weak and hopeless. He was known as the friend of sinners. Jesus himself boldly declared in Matthew chapter 9 that he came not for the healthy, rather the sick. Those who were outcast were in fact genuine than those who considered themselves holier than God himself. I have seen many a people who have claimed that they have never done anything wrong or even hurt an ant for that matter. Such claims only project self-righteousness rather than the grace of God. In this verse we see that Jesus is more concerned about our intentions rather than our actions. The Pharisees were known for their hypocrisy. They looked great from the outside. Everyone respected them. While they walked with dignity, but internally they were rotten and stinking. Precious ones, we can all fall into the same trap and sometimes see ourselves or our behavior on a higher level than others. How often do we close our eyes to the needs of our neighbors or to the plight of the homeless? This morning, Let's examine our ways. Let's search our hearts. Do we feel better than the rest? It's time for change. It's time to humble ourselves before the Lord. I really thank God for His Word because Jesus Himself states in John chapter 15 and verse 2 that He prunes the branches that bear fruit to bear more fruit that is richer and tastier. In our lives when God disciplines us, when He shows us where we have failed, we are indeed blessed because the Master is still at work. When we are perfected, when we are ready, He will take us into His care. Till then, let us continue to chip away all that does not belong to Him and walk in righteousness. May our heart condition forever be acceptable before our Lord and Saviour. Let us pray. Abba Father, cause us to wake up, Lord, and to see how we can be of service to those who are weak and outcast. May we be able to relate to them through the power of your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.